you can see here, um, we've started to vinyl side. And I'm just going to give you a couple tips, helpful hints when you're vinyl siding. Um, when you get over to any obstruction like this, vents, you want to use outdoor flashing tape. Um, you make sure it says window, window and door flashing. The silver stuff's the best. Make sure it's got good grippiness. Depending on the time of year you're going to do the flashing, uh, it will stick pretty good in the summertime. If it's in winter time, it might not stick at all. So you might have to heat it up. You can do that with a hair dryer. Um, you want to tape all your seams. Uh, we're using, we use eight foot section for here, but in, around the door where it gets a little tricky, we're using a four foot section. So you're going to do your bottom first, then you're going to overlap, leaving at least uh, six, preferably 12 inches of overlap. Coming up to this door, uh, we'll be taping this up after we finish all this, and we'll be doing the peak up here. Any lights, things like that, you're actually going to buy a vinyl uh, box for, and I'll show you how to do that in a later on. When you come up, you can do small sections or you could keep running it. We're just doing small sections. Uh, so depending on the weather, you know, you might want to stop. So we're going to stop about here. And when I start back up again, I'm going to start up about here and go down, um, making sure to leave a good overlap. And then very important to use Tyvex tape right here to, uh, to cover up any of the seams where your two pieces are going to overlap. And then as far as nailing, best thing you use, a little uh, hammer nailer here. So basically the way that works is you just go like this. You're gonna get a, you're gonna need two people to do this. One person's gonna hold the sheet, go like that. Boom, slam your nail in. Your nails, they go about every foot. Um, doesn't have to be perfect, but about every foot. If you get a uh, sort of staple that hangs out, take the back of this, bang it in so it's nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, so we'll, We'll keep going with this and see how it comes out. Okay, as you can see here, I have my top piece up. Um, it's looking pretty horrible. <laughs> but once we uh, staple the rest up and cut off the excess and tape it, it's actually gonna look pretty good. I'm gonna show you here, once you get your uh, piece up, I already kind of have it cut a little bit like a triangle. And um, it's, as you can see, it's overhanging. It's upside down, but that's not really affecting anything. Um, it's just the way we cut it. So what we got here is a nice sharp razor um, and then we got our stapler. So what I'm going to do is we want to get up here in the corner, staple it nice and tight. Now just take your time with this and then what I'm going to do is just take this razor and get as close to this corner up here as possible. And just cut that excess off. And get that piece off there. Now, and I'll keep working at that. And on this corner here, we're going to overlap this. So it's nice and tight. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Now, as far as this door is concerned, um, doors and windows generally you would just Tyvex them over. And then what you do is you take a razor. Now, where you want to cut is actually you want to leave a little piece of the wood because your flashing tape is going to need to make contact with both the Tyvex and the wood. So here I'm just going to follow this line I already have. Can here. And sometimes your razor gets a little bit dull. Just going to flip to the other side. So I'm going to follow this up and you can feel where it's going to end is actually going to be up here somewhere. And if you're not sure where the hole is cut, a little bit smaller, you can always take more off later on. If you did mess up, you can use a Tyvex tape to kind of patch it back and um, reattach it, which is fine. And once you get to the top, you're going to notch it like this. I'm actually going to take a little bit more off. 
Making a good contact. Come back over here and see I want a little bit more. So I'm gonna come back over here. A little bit more off. Depending on how thick your flashing tape is, of course, depends on how much board you want hanging over. But my tape is probably about four inches thick, so I get a good amount I can play with. Nice. So this is so it's good to go. Still gonna need a Tyvex tape it, but and we're just gonna continue over here, clean that up. So you can see now I've cut off my excess. This is looking a lot better than it was before. Go this other side. Take the, this and just overlap here. Good. And go along the bottom. Just get nice and tight. Now I'm gonna nail up here at the top. Close as edge as you can get safely without hitting your fingers. It's looking good now. Do any loose spots like this? Come back, feel that, and nail that in. Good. What I'm going to do is then I'm going to tape this up and I'm going to cut this hole open here. Uh, we'll be putting a piece of Azac board probably over that. Cover that up. All right, so now what we do is we have these overlaps. Start from one side of the building and we're gonna tape them up. So find the end of your tape here. You can use Tyvex tape, Trent don't use duct tape or anything like that. It's, uh, this is specifically made for, it's very sticky and uh, does a really good job. So what we're gonna do is start at one end here. I'm just going to cover this up. It's kind of transparent so you can see where your end is. You kind of want it in the middle. Push on with your fingers and if you have, sometimes you have to follow the vent piece, that's fine. Just push that right over. Um, it's just depending on the tie back, sometimes it goes crooked. Just follow that down to the ground. Now this we're going to cut off, but we'll do that when we're getting more near the vinyling portion of it. So for right now, just to keep it simple, take your razor and boom. Make sure that's nice and tight on there so it doesn't makes good contact. And then you're going to keep doing that, keep taping up um, until all your seams like this are all made up. We have some wires back here, so we label these wires. So when we're um, nailing, we don't uh, nail those wires by accident. All right.